this video, we're checking out the UK Army's new and groundbreaking laser weapon in Iran that's got everyone talking. Recently, Iran has been launching some major drone and missile attacks at Israel. The US and UK stepped in, but stopping these attacks is super expensive. They're using missiles that cost 5,000% more to take down 5,000 drones. It's just not sustainable. So let's find out what the US and the UK Army have in store. And stay until the end, because you won't believe the firepower they've got up their sleeves. In March of 2024, the UK showcased its impressive new laser weapon known as Dragonfire. In a recently released video, this weapon was seen hitting an aerial target with incredible accuracy during a test in Scotland. You can think of a bright laser beam shooting across the night sky over the remote Hebrides Islands, hitting its target and causing a burst of light. It's not just for show though, this laser is super precise and accurate as well. The UK Ministry of Defense even says the Dragonfire can hit a coin from over half a mile away. Now that's something you wouldn't want to mess with, right? Shifting over to the United States, they've got their laser weapon making waves as well. In January, the US Army introduced laser weapons to a war zone for the first time. They deployed a team of three Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, or DM Sharad, armored vehicles to guard bases in the Middle East. These bases were facing constant drone, rocket, and mortar attacks from Iran-backed groups. Before these laser-armed vehicles, the U.S. Army had two types of air defense. First up, the Indirect Fire Protection Capability Battalions, protecting fixed military bases and command posts with automated Phalanx Gatling cannons and Stinger missiles. Then, the divisional M. Sharad battalions, defending troops on the move with Avenger Humvees and Striker vehicles, also loaded with Stingers. Stinger missiles have been the U.S. Army's mainstay since 1981. That's over four decades. While they've got plenty of experience with them, the missile's age is showing. It's no longer in production, and its effectiveness on the battlefield might be slipping against newer weapons. Plus, each Stinger missile costs a massive $120,000, compared to cheap kamikaze drones that cost only a few hundred or thousand dollars, the defense costs are way out of balance. That is why the U.S. Army is excited about their new laser-based DEM Sherrod armored vehicles. These vehicles tackle the issues that are holding the Stinger back. The DEM Sherrod's lasers can slice through metal causing structural damage or even more serious effects if they hit the warhead or fuel. It's the same groundbreaking idea behind the UK's Dragonfire laser weapon and for the same reasons too. With Dragonfire, the UK can swap out their pricey million dollar missiles for lasers that cost $13 a shot. That's a massive saving. These weapons have the potential to revolutionize the battlefield and that's exactly what they aim to do. Now, brace yourselves, because we're about to look at some of these incredible weapons in greater detail and see why they are so powerful and unique. UK Dragonfire Dragonfire is the UK's latest program aiming to use modern technology to create a laser weapon system. The system uses laser beams to take out targets. Whether the target is still or moving, on land, at sea, or in the air, it is bound to get blasted. To make this weapon, the UK brought together its best people and invested over $120 million. Running the Dragonfire program is the UK's top science department, the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, or DSTL for short. They teamed up with big names like MBDA, Leonardo, and Kinetic to build the Dragonfire laser weapon. After years of work, the weapon was finally ready to be tested. Can you imagine all the hard work put into this technology? And the results? They're seriously impressive. Dragonfire became the first ever UK weapon to fire high-power laser beams at aerial targets.
It showed off amazing precision and is super cost effective as well. To give you an idea, firing the Dragonfire for 10 seconds costs the same as running a regular heater for just an hour. That's a huge saving for the UK military compared to its older weapons, and the US is interested in it too. US DM Sherrod. Moving on, the US has also rolled out the Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, or DM Sherrod for short. It's a 50 kW mobile laser weapon mounted on a striker vehicle. This weapon can take down drones, mortar missiles, and even fighter jets and helicopters. It's the US Army's first ground laser weapon that can hit targets up to five miles away. Talk about superpowers. The weapon is made up of a high energy laser, a beam director, and an EOIR target tracking system. It also has a C-720 radar for a full 360-degree coverage. To keep things running smoothly, the weapon has its own system to manage heat, recharge its batteries, and fire the laser. And when it's time to fire, the laser shoots from a rooftop beam director on the striker vehicle. How impressive is that? However, you should note that building this weapon was a complex process that required collaboration and competition among major companies. The journey begins in 2019, when the Army commissioned Kinetic North America, or QNA, to develop the initial prototypes. Recognizing the complexity and significance of the project, QNA used the expertise of Northrop Grumman and Raytheon Technologies to compete in creating the laser module. Both teams were provided a striker vehicle and a dedicated power system to facilitate their development. But the road to success was not without its obstacles. Northrop Grumman encountered issues with the power system, leading to a fire during the testing phase. As a result, Northrop Grumman decided to withdraw from the competition. On the other hand, Raytheon Technology showed that their system worked well and was reliable. The Army was impressed and chose Raytheon's design to continue with. Raytheon got a big $123 million contract to make the laser weapon. They quickly delivered the first four prototypes to the Army, and in just seven months, the system was up and running, set to make a big difference in modern warfare. Like the UK, the US Army isn't wasting any time getting these new weapons out there, and it's easy to see why. The benefits are huge. First up, the unlimited magazine. DM Sherrod, Dragonfire, and other laser weapons are changing the game when it comes to ammunition. Once these weapons are plugged into a power source, they can fire continuously. This technology is a game changer when dealing with drones. Drones have evolved from being small and quick to fast and dangerous attack vehicles that can come at you in swarms. Even the best traditional air defense systems struggle against a swarm. But with an unlimited magazine, laser weapons can keep firing, burning up drone parts, and blinding their sensors. Moving on to the light speed attack, the term laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. In simple terms, lasers are made of light energy and move at the speed of light, which is a staggering 180,000 miles per second. They are the fastest things out there. This means that no aircraft or missile stands a chance once it's been spotted by radar sensors. No matter how fast they are, they'll be taken out in as little as four seconds after being targeted by DM Sherrod or Dragonfire. Lastly, let's talk about intelligence. DM Sherrod is almost completely autonomous. It can do most of its work without needing human input, from spotting and tracking targets to taking them out with sniper-like precision. In a constantly changing battlefield that combines three generations of technology, this level of accuracy is crucial. DM Sherrod also uses artificial intelligence to prioritize targets focusing on the most threatening ones first. Dragonfire is expected to operate similarly, fully autonomously. When facing missiles that travel faster than the speed of sound, human reactions might just be too slow, and it's up to the machines to take over. In a world where wars drive innovation, 
Countries like the United States and the UK are leading the charge with cutting-edge weapons. These advancements, like the Dragonfire and DM Sherrod, aren't just for today, they're shaping the future of defense. So what do you think about these game-changing laser weapons? Do you believe they'll revolutionize modern warfare? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into military tech, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more updates on the latest in defense technology. Don't miss out on future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.